Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be sharing with you a bout between Bruce Lee and Lil Latifi. I hope you guys will like it. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of. 17 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Malmo, Sweden, Ilya, the Sledgehammer, Latifi! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight at Putin in Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the UFC positions. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. This big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Looking for that left hand, not there. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Oh, nice elbow. True on the double leg, taken down by Lee. 
right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Latifi's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single oh, take. Oh, slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, honestly. <laughs> I think that was I've coming. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Lee gets back up here. Big call to punch land. Now he gets back to range. There's no give on that leg kick. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into a strike to the head. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch, taking for a ride. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Side control now. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Beautiful head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, yeah, right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got to very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the hand outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch. Rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight. He has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick. Every time he goes. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Latifi's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this enemy. No, and he does it the old school way, right? Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the outside and use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside, this dude's going for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique, what a takedown. Great high impact. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the drop. 
I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Wow, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. And he's back up. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Going up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Lee's back in full mount. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's got his back now. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Single collar tie here. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control take of this second cut round. Him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over. He secured these takedowns. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Knee to the body. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Oh, he's good. Serve him up. Go get him. And oh, he comes nice through with a big knee. Beautiful level change. quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Lee gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Ooh, what a head kick. Big knee there to the chest. Takedown. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 15 seconds remain in the round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. about this fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, 
He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready? You ready? Go for it! Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, collar tie. Double leg. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt fast. Right. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Single collar tie now. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? Oh, nice! trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Latifi's got a big pool started to form on the right side of his body. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 
Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Beautiful. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you actually enjoyed it. So this is the ultimate bout between Bruce Lee and Lil Latifi. Thank you guys for watching this video. The coach, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hoping.